it can help to learn about the different types of breast milk, how it changes over time and even through a feed. The very first milk you produce just after birth is called colostrum. Many mums with colostrum worry that it doesn't seem like there's lots and it's really important to sort of remind yourself that, that it's, it's, it's concentrated milk and it's perfect for your baby and, and the small amounts is, is just right for the baby. Um, it needs its food in concentrated amounts and, and quickly your, the amount of milk that you make for your baby will start to increase. The more the times you feed the baby, the more signals you'll give to your body to make milk and, and the, the milk will change from that colostrum, a really concentrated milk, to, to breast milk, which is, which is you know, a bit, bit more watery and bigger in um, quantity. When does that change happen then from colostrum to mature milk? Well, it, it's gradual, but what mums will notice is, is kind of round about the third day after they've had their baby, third, fourth day, their breasts starting to feel heavier and they can really know something's going on. They look slightly bigger and, you know, they feel fuller and, um, and, and that's really the, the milk production begin to sort of kick off. If the mums don't experience that change, that fullness with the milk coming in at around that third and fourth day, because sometimes it takes a little bit longer, then, you know, it's important not to worry, because worrying doesn't help, but it is important to, you know, check out with your midwife how things are going. The baby having lots of feeds is what tells the body to make milk. And sometimes the babies are a bit sleepy or born a little bit early and they don't quite know almost to do that for themselves. So they need a little bit of a nudge. So it is important that the babies get, you know, these frequent feeds early to get everything going. And if, if things just seem a little bit slow, then it's not a reason for panic, but it is a reason to check, is there anything else that we can be doing to help make sure that this all goes well? Breast milk is such fascinating stuff. And it changes through the feed. At the beginning of the feed, the milk is more like a drink. It's got lots of goodness in it still, and it has got fat in it, but it's lower in fat than towards the end of the feed, and it's, that's purely to do with physics, really, the mechanics. As the feed goes on, and the little muscles that are in your breast that are pushing the milk down towards the baby kind of squeeze tighter, the feed gets richer and richer in fat toward the end. It's really important to make sure that you, you kind of f follow your baby and, and let the feed last for as long as the baby wants. Because if you say you were looking at your watch and decided after 20 minutes the baby had enough, it might just miss that very richest bit. Some people like to call it the pudding bit of the breastfeed. Um, the very richest bit, which is highest in fat. And of course, if it's high in fat, it'll help the baby put on weight and also keep the baby fuller for longer. It's like if you have a three-course dinner and a pudding with cream on top, it keeps you full for a long time. Another thing about the full milk and high milk is sometimes because mums understand that and understand it's important for the baby to get the high milk, then they worry about how they know the baby's getting the high milk. As long as you follow your baby and you make sure that the baby feeds for as long as the baby wants to, as long as the baby's feeding effectively, then really you can trust that the baby will be getting the high milk. But another thing is that the way that the baby, um, the sort of rhythm of the baby suckling at the breast changes slightly differently. So if we talk through the breast feed, at the beginning of the feed, the, the, the suckling of the baby is, is quite quick. And it's, it's sort of saying to the breast, oh, you know, I'm here, let the milk, let the milk flow. And then the milk starts to flow and the baby goes into a lovely sucking rhythm where it's quite long and slow. And then we'll have little pauses and then off it'll go again. Nice, slow, deep sucking rhythm. And then towards the end of the feed, the baby does tiny little sucks that are quite fluttery. And sometimes the mums will misinterpret that and think, oh, the baby's just sort of messing around a little bit. But actually those little fluttery sucks are really clever at getting that really thick milk at the end, the fat rich milk. So look for those little flutter sucks and if the baby's been doing those then you know that it's had that high milk.